the play. He's got his assistant, Dario Catello. He's also Spanish. He does have a translator to work with him. But that man doesn't. I've seen Stanislaw. He's overseeing the best period ever in Polish beach soccer. Good league they've got there as well. Do a few foreign players. The likes of Alan Clark has played in their league there. For now, we are underway. And hopefully we get as many goals as the last game we've seen, which was 15. You'll be in for a treat. Quick uh, low down on the rules. Three periods of 12 minutes. Any free kicks. Oh, what a strike that is, and just wide. Well, Pizanski was just grasping at air there. Now Stanton now, early warning shots across the bows. Any free kicks that get given away, by the way, are completely unopposed. Also direct. Savage forward there, Zabert. Flashed early overhead kick. We only really saw one or two in the last game. Good to see that early door. Zabert. Dittanowski. Kaczynski. Zabert. That's the stretch for it though. Bow catch now. He's got. Reichel in front of him, just can't find him with that ball up. Bocas needs to go back here, he does. Kravic nicely done. Constanti now. The early shot for Belarus. Obviously, hit the scoreline on the top of your screen there, didn't hit the target. Constanti now. It's all more closes. Makarevich. Oh, it's a decent letter from Bryce. Sure, just couldn't get over it though to keep it down. Just an Elski. It's a bear. Touch over the bar of Makarevich, not the biggest keeper in beach soccer, but he was close to his line, so two trouble there by Madadi. Back. Can't get a shot on target. He can bow catch to play back. Bow catch. Takes it back. Makarevic. Stands now. At that early, really powerful shot across the goal. Savic. Tries play for a Bryshaw there. Makarevic, something they'd rehearsed and it's not worked. It's another chance to do it. This time goes short. Bow catch. Catch back to his goalkeeper. Savage. Decent effort from Bryce. You can see why he plays full time professional in the sport. Gank to his goalkeeper. Watch his overhead again. Wasn't too worried about it, was he? Kaczynski. Well, it was too powerful for him to move his arms quickly enough, one or the other. The result was the same, though, as it was wide. Stanton out. Get out, so bow catch. Breeds a sigh of frustration. Poland with the ball now. But Danny got away with that one. Gak. Which claims it just before the toenail of Bryshaw gets there. Bryshaw, lovely turn. Is it finished there? No, Gazanski with the save. 
Well, you can see in rehearse that. It's why now Belarus. They've gone for that ball straight down the middle. You know Bryshaw can do that no-touch turn. You know he's sharp. He's also off the back of playing in the Russian league. Six days worth of beach soccer, that is. But prior to that, two days, or three days, I should say, in the regular Euro Beach Soccer League. So with a week's rest in between and some training, he should be sh the sharpest player on the sand today. Sonov can't get the ball under control. But Zinski. Oh, he's out well there, uh, did really well the goalkeeper. Brave to put his head amongst the feet. Overhead, pushed wide. Bit so much has that low centre of gravity, ideal type of player for that. It's gone all the way to the far post. Danny Luck, new player to the squad. Showing his experience there. Samsonov should have done better though with his shot. Milanovic to Bear to Kaczynski. It's so much. Oh, what a save by Makarevich. Really well done there. Give him it. It was a little bit of a Hollywood one. It looked good for the cameras, but hey, enjoy it. Don't get much credit as a goalkeeper, do you? On this very sand last year, one player of the tournament. Best goalkeeper. Played so well in the super finals. Once again, good saves. Got to see it at the last second. The other end, Zanski has to punch. So it means throw to Belarus. It goes all the way across. And it up, mops up. So it's Kaczynski. He needs support. And he can't complain. He needs support there quickly. And Kubai didn't get it. Ball goes wide in beach soccer. That's the sort of classic move. They the ball out wide as goalkeeper. Somebody collects it. Actually plays it across with the head or the foot. Normally instantaneously. And then someone arriving at the far post is perfect way to finish. Such a simple way of doing it, but when done quickly and effectively, it works every time. Gonna get it there. No. Santanov was just stepping behind. Easily headed away in the end though by Janowski. Thompson off, it's just wide. Vinsky forward, looping under arm throw. Jishanowski just couldn't get on the end of it. Stanton out. Happy to keep it, We're not rotating it too much, but a rooster can play it forward quickly. Overhead behind Bryce, although we can't do anything with it. So, with three minutes left in this period, very tightly contested. Two teams look pretty fit, younger squads, but with a good blend of experience in there as well. Both from experienced World Cups. Does make such a difference to teams. Balls over the top. Sansky just holds his run to collect the ball as they switch in their players, Poland. Full hit change of all outfield players. But Silamud. Gak. Just keep it. Zinski forward. One of our new boys there.
Kudajevic, you'll fancy the shot. Gets it away and horrible to deal with that by Kaczynski. Does so with his legs and deals with the rebound. Savic twists and turns one way than the other. Military man when he's not playing beach soccer. Beauty by the loose team up. So probably coached by Marco Octavio. And Gilberto, who really got them going. He's the coach, of course, of Brazil now, World Cup winning team. It's a bit of consultancy work in the Russian league as well. And it's Marco on beach soccer as well as having a team in Brazil that have been beaten over the year. We brought on beach soccer in Belarus means they're now challenged the European elite. Started at the groundwork he laid. Two coaches in from that, Marco Octavia. And now Nico Alejandro. Those foundations were laid by Gilberto of Brazil. That's to get it in the air for the free kick. Ends up on the floor himself. Caught and casual there. Well, it was in the area, the foul. So it is a penalty. A free kick, but I first thought it was on the edge. And if you want a man from Belarus taking a penalty, it's that man, Braishaw. Whenever there's a tournament, is always very near the top of the scoring charts. Five last week before last in Moscow. They get his tournament rolling here right now. And break the deadlock. Rachel steps up and fires it into the goal with the help of a bit of sand. Gizanski went the right way, but a bounce took it over him. I get a feeling he feels rather fortunate there, but the old cliche goes, the old count. I have Rachel makes it. Belarus one, Poland nil. Was confidently struggled he could do. The fact he his foot behind the ball gave it enough pace off the sand to take it up and over Kaczynski. Hovering over the free kick, Dominic Depter. Plays it wide. Oh, well, I'm sure as that was dropping there, he was dreaming of smashing it into the back of the net. But uh, Philip Gack proves that he is more of a defender than a striker with that. Back to his keeper. Samsonov, I doubt that was a foul there. Shaped to shoot. It's 26 seconds on the clock. This will be pretty much unless they score the last action of the game. Samsonov, an experienced player. Military man as well, has got military position, precision right now. New. That's the answer. It's a bear shaped beautifully then. Well, but Danny, I should say, shaped beautifully for that. Just didn't happen for him, though. To the final 10 seconds. And we get a last gasp goal. That's it. We're the final meaningful kick of the period. So, the end of the first period. It's been tight. I think the game will open up singing. You just heard them singing there. About 10 or 15 of them travel everywhere to watch the team. 
future ball, but a great sport nonetheless. Mankarevic. Stanton now. Brayshaw. Stanton now. Hacked clearance. It's back to take the throw. Still in to change your play there. Good technique. A little bit risky, bow catch though. Does really well. Uses his body strength to get away with it. Aisha with the effort. He's far away. The player can adjust his position so, so quickly. Two ways of sought after player in the professional leagues around Europe. The last being Russia. Stanton out. Nice, so just let it roll over his shoulder. To Makarevich. To Bear. Can't cut out across, so we got a switching goal. For Poland. Stawinski's in. With that ball just slowly trickles out. And two teams. Playing reasonably high pressure here, giving each other too much time on the ball. And in their own half. The Bears got time. And they've not got a goalkeeper to go back to. There's the header, and it's in. Wow, it's a complete mess up by the Polish defence. And in the end, a combination of Breschel and Konstantinio makes it better. It's two, Poland nil. See there, Zubair, what was he thinking, really? All that he when in doubt, kick it out. Just trying to be too clever. <laughs> so, flicked some up. Kick off, I'll tell you what, well, that's some way to respond. Yeah, it looked like he hit the post there, but it's Makarevich with the save. He had to be sharp and alert. He was a very solid goalkeeper. All oh, forward there to cause any damage for Belarus. Poland can build on the back. And again, they've got two high players there. If you look, Savage and Breschel. Not letting Poland have any time on the ball in their own half. Not closing. Super quickly, but just closing enough so they've got to play the ball. And enough so they can recover as well if the ball gets played past them. Oh, catch. Well, let's see what he was trying out. It's a great interchange of play. It's a decent save in the end, unorthodox, but did the job. I think so what? It was about how to do and giving it back to your goalkeeper there. So you don't make the mistake. Get to the play shot. Player there for Belarus on the sand. I'll tell you about him in a second. A kick given. Chance for a breather, which players will appreciate in this weather around all 30 degrees today. Uninspiring back pass. Uh, uninspiring throw as well. Depta. Nice to dodge a bit so much. He stumbles as he collects the ball.
well recovered there. And Adani had to as well. Samsonov's got pace. Again, another military man. His fitness taken care of with his job. Tries getting shot away, but there's just too many bodies in front of it. Bayek is down injured, sportingly played out. Milinovic. Q, big changes for both teams, and not surprising really in this weather. It's a good save, isn't it? Good reaction. Makarevic, sorry to Miranovic. Your Makas and your Mirrors mixed up. Solinski. Danny Luck. So it's good by Aker, just can't keep it in too high for him. Stancing out. Karevich out to the corner, Bryce will pick it up very nicely. Lovely close control. Belarus is leading all time scorer. A decent effort from Savage from nowhere. The save happens, so it's a corner. Well, then, to catch the almost with the outside of his right foot when he got there. Goalkeeper's last car was be hacking at it with the left. Jasnowski watches as Belarus is in possession now. Understand to now. Shouts of Belarus go up, trying to lift the team. Well, this is taking on that particular pattern where you've got two teams who are pretty strong. One team gets the early lead. They're not that keen to put the pressure on in the second period, just not concede, and then things open up as players get more and more tired, especially in the heat in the third period. No surprise that with just four minutes 30 left on the clock that the goals will be scored as yet. It's in that low period of the game, so they're not closing as quickly as they were. Somewhat. Good block by Savage. Bow catcher, so it's it. The ringer for Savage, so. It's my excuse, anyway. Beachsoccer.com, by the way, for all the details of this tournament all weekend. Karevich got away with that. Big shout there, claims it. Yeah, Beachsoccer.com. We'll round up all the tournaments, all the Euro Beach Soccer League had so far, and then dates as well for various TV 
schedules that we've got going right throughout the year. Any tournaments to come up by Barnamon in Germany follows this. Finish up with the super final in the summer on the 14th of September. Danowski. Wow, I'll tell you what, did he leave it there? Kalevich, who knows? Play show. Play tell. Now he to find difficult to dribble on the sand there and beat more than one player. Savage, disappointed with that. He's conceded the free kick. In his case, he's just showed him it. A little bit of sh shoulder. Honest ref. That was a good position. As we mentioned before, the bounce is key here. Get that bounce in. Well, put the keeper off more often than not. They didn't. It's routine for Makarevich. Team for the keeper, his quality was. We'll keep it a tournament in this leg last year on the same sand. And just had a bit of a wobbly time in the super finals for being so brilliant just a few weeks before. Big shot for handball in English and various other languages. Whichever language it didn't happen. Samson just can't get his foot through the ball there. Goes harmlessly through to Stonowski who plays it out. They're playing that three at the back now. Poland, the libero if you like. Number 10, Depter as he moves up there. And then players left and right. Often the goalkeeper will take that position. Not in this case. Well, handball, yes. Intentional, no. David with a very routine save for this goalkeeper of his standards. So free kick, Slonowski slows it down to take this. Make sure there's no sand in his eyes. Very pensive coach there, Marcin. Slonowski stands, watches, takes it in, but the best way, he's not jumping up and down and shouting all the time, you're not concentrating exactly on what you're doing. Goodbye. Matelenski, new player to Belarus. A very settled squad. Drafted in this tournament. It's limited game time so far. Oh, given for foot up too high. Goes to the centre for the kick. Kick in a great position. It'll require that little bounce though. Just to be dangerous. Danny. Steps up. Right footed. There's the strike. Akarevic casually grasps the ball at the second attempt. Dare say, rather got away with that one. A chance for casual play, I would say. I was going to say for them to build their Belarus, but pretty weak stuff. Big 
shout to Belarus Corp trying to lift the players here. But with less than a minute on the clock, they'll be quite happy to go into this break with two goals daylight between them and Poland, and also clean sheets as well. Big shot of handball and Bryce Young didn't happen. Kudavich unorthodox, but did push the ball into the ground, so he took the heat out of it. Is wide. Savage. Okay, Rich to Savage. Good first touch. Turn a shot from Brachel is wide. Well, there we have it, end of the period. Bryshaw with that shot wide. Not adding to his goal scoring tallies. Am I so we're underway. The final period. Two goals is not a lot in beach soccer. So we have his nine goals a game. And almost like basketball, you get a lot of the action in that final period. The scoreline suggests Poland got to go for it. Belarus will be looking to push. Kudelich not quite sure there. Just when his height disadvantage really counted against him, he could have got two hands on that. He was a six foot three giant. Of the European Championship. It's virtually every single team in the world or in Europe was playing in that tournament. And Poland came out on top, even when they qualified for the World Cup by making the final. They still powered on and won. Let's give them 100% record in that tournament. Difference being, a player called Saganowski was just outstanding and a brilliant goal scorer. He's now retired. Zinski getting the yellow card there. Not kind of happy about it, but swallowing it. I shouldn't get involved with things at the other end of the sand. A bit late now, though. It's so much. Step up. It's a good save by Makarevich, and again, for the save, it bounces up and he can hold on. Savage. Back to his keeper. But I show lovely first touch, just taken away from the defender. Zips around the back there. Almost that classic beach soccer move where you start the touch line, play it in field, then go around the back of that player, look to it. For him to play you in again, there was no space that time, no. That is in a great position. So. Time to set up. This will really take the game away from Poland, virtually seal it. So, a little bit of pressure here on Bocac. Steps up. Bocat shoots. Oh, nicely finished. And big love for that. The daylight is now apparent between Belarus and Poland. Three goals. And without the firepower of Sakonowski now retired, where are Poland going to find those goals from? Positively for Belarus, the goals have come all over the pitch. 
They're looking very strong here, and they'll need to be when they play Portugal. The big challenge in this tournament. Overhead and miles over the bar in the end from Quebec. It's the chances there, they've had more of than Poland. And well, this is not a target or really testing the goalkeeper. Well, Back as Alejandro looks on, should be pretty pleased with the way things have gone for his team so far. And as he can't coach them in his native language, it's kind of difficult. He's got a message across, but it seems to be working. Go back. Makarovic, he watches that one bounce wide rather than in. Karevich forward. Well, a little bit more time. There's some accuracy there. A bit disappointing in the end from Tchaikovsky. Away we go. After the delay. It's a pretty poor throw. It's a pretty poor ball, ball. Tired legs out there now. Davis goes out, big shout for the foul as he went down and dropped the ball. It's given. Davis carefully sets himself. He'd love to get on the score sheet here, but it'll take something special to be that man. Kazanski's been excellent for Poland, very strong goalkeeper. Kurevich, there's the bounce, the bounce. Watched why by Kaczynski. Pick up this pace a bit. Let's get forward quickly here and start doing some damage towards that goal. But with headers like that, they're not going to do it. So Bear can take the throw. It's a was there for the header, but couldn't get there. Well, he got away with that rather there, Poland. He's in shot by Gak in the end. It's wide. Ball drifts over and wide. Gak to his keeper, Kaczynski, forward. Head by Zubair. Goes wide, it's very disjointed at the moment. Poland, and you can see why Belarus are cruising really in this game. They're about to make a wholesale change as we watch that overhead kick go way wide. Just comfortable on the ball, comfortable in possession. After taking the chances and after attacking quickly, the bear hustled. Can he get his overhead kick in? He can't. Big shell there. In the end, the shot comes in. It's an Nowski, but it's easy. Makarevich. Sanov. Can't get the ball up and over. His overhead kick. Stanton now. Makarevich loops that ball forward. Bow catch. Oh, he's thinking about the header across towards Samsonov there. Instead, it goes back to Constantin now. Receives it back, and that allows too many red shears to get back and defend him. Ball goes wide, you've got to play that ball in quickly. Where 
it being helped by the referee there. It looks like a yellow card is going to be given. It is. We'll catch the yellow card. Maybe something he said rather than anything else. look really drive through the ball now that a great save he just clambered up to the top corner there and just poured the ball away Gazinski it's looking more and more like they are is he most done for in this game Poland but that would have most definitely Belarus away as it stands, things can change in beach soccer. Unlikely with a team of this quality defending a three goal lead, but they can. Four, it's almost impossible. Gak. Some lots of goalkeepers out, catches. Throws it. Oh, this is going against ranking at the moment, this game. Belarus ranked about 24. The qualification for the World Cup, Poland as high as 15. It's going against those rankings so far. By Harbour Makarevic. Can be slightly misleading the, the ranking system in terms of it's depends on how many games you play. More playing games you play and win. More likely you are to be on top. And with the likes of Portugal and the Euro Beach Soccer League competing every year in various other tournaments. It's important for them that they keep winning and retain that top position despite many people saying Brazil are the best in the world. We beat Portugal twice in the last two years. It's not that difficult to we would really find it difficult to argue with that. Poland's qualification for the World Cup of course bumping them well up the rankings there. But as I've mentioned several times already. Zaganowski, their striker, 40 years of age. He was a player who came out of retirement to play for them and just had a tournament that like you wouldn't believe. Well, that's the sort of chance that Zaganowski in his prime would have swallowed up. At the moment, they rather laboured Poland. Oh, that was interesting. All dead body, excluding himself, the goalkeeper. Back, decent effort. Milanovic to his keeper, Makarevic. Milanovic, Makarevic. Milanovic on the end of this to score. No much doubt that was a foul there by Gak. The planes, but he's a big, strong player. Just the tap of player and they're down. Well catch. Sets himself up nicely. Again, he's had the bonus of being coached by two Brazilian coaches. Which is a World Cup winner and now the Spanish style. It's Belarus team though, not a deep squad to improve all the time. Bounce up and over. What a save that is. Brilliantly done by Gazinski. Brilliantly done. To follow that all the way, it took that horrible bounce. Watch this now. It's just his feet so quickly and get that touch was outstanding. Oh, we're looking at goalkeeper of the tournament already. Karevich the other has been very good so far. It's the thing about beach soccer with three games in three days, it just takes one mistake. Oh, well, that's the quality that Bryce Shaw possesses. And you wouldn't count that as a goalkeeper's mistake. You want to count that as a bit of absolute brilliance from a brilliant player. 
He's the full-timer in the squad. And you can see why he's so in demand in the Russian league and for his country as well. Beautiful turn, beautiful finish. And as the sun starts to dip over the lake here, Poland are drifting into the sunset. But it's Belarus still shining bright. Belarus four, Poland nil. The bear just on the outside of his left foot rather than his foot through the center of the ball. Switching goal for Belarus. Didn't get too much game time. Gas going goal. Again, it's more of a bit power player than anything else. It's so much. Shut up by Samsonov. Another four minutes to go. It's so much again. Lovely control by Depte. It's an Alski. Big shout as he goes down. And the big shout works as he gets that free kick. The yellow card issued. I don't know which quite quite believe it. Big shrug of the shoulders there. But it's happened. Jesanowski's got a free kick in a great position. You can watch the replay there. Just outside of the box. Almost as good as a penalty. Jesanowski. That's it. We watched off camera there how he was warming up. Very strange. Oh, chance for Poland to make the scoreline a little bit more respectable. Nowski, good save. Well, to keep a clean sheet and beat soccer is a big thing. And plays by someone who can pull off a save like that. Yuri Chichas shot. Absolutely excellent. Samsonov heads across. Big Sol Mutz. The new player on there for Belarus to get another good save and a goalkeeper. They don't get too much game time. They've got two newer players. Altetsky and Nikita Tchaikovsky. One of the new boys has cleared off the line there. That's really meant to play to Samsonov, but Samsonov's in. And finishes courtesy of the sand. Looks to the heavens. I tell you what, someone was looking down on him there for a little bit of the bounce and took it past the goalkeeper. Belarus 5, Poland 0. Cuts in so well there, doesn't he, Samsonov? And then all about the sand at the last moment. Took. Danny, no challenge anybody that set the ball point. Well done, this for Nicholas Alejandro. Let's play, Spanish coach, he was a big former national team player. And following on a tradition for Belarus to dra draft in foreign coaches, they had Gilberto, followed by Marco Ottavio last season. This season they've gone Spanish. With Alejandro and his assistant, Dario Cotello, to work with his translator. Travels with the team now. Wouldn't get the message across, aren't he? Certainly today they are. Over the top. Decent ahead that it was, though, at the far post from Gak. Just couldn't get over the top of the ball. Marcin Stanislaw has not moved and not showed any emotion in this game. 
Well, the only emotion he could show will be a sad face at the moment. It's a decent block by Dreyschel, showing he's not just all about scoring goals, he can put it in a defensive shift as well. Oh, it just fell in front of Brayshaw there, instead it clips his heels. But they get a free kick. Savage just sits there, takes his breather. He waits for the ball to come back on to take this free kick. Kick, it may have, may have made a little bit more of it than was needed, may have done. Sure, he's not injured. He'll take this kick. Quirk of beach soccer's rules: you must take your free kick if you're fouled. That was given against you. That was given for you, so you should be take that free kick unless you're injured. It means everybody in beach soccer in the team needs to have a decent shot on them. Needs to practice shooting. There's a very fluid system between players. They've got to be able to defend and attack. So we're more inclined to one or the other, but you've got to be able to do everything. Do it well. So let's see now. Savage can do this well. Foot shot. They took no chances there. Kaczynski just beat it away. Two hands. Rachel can't get on the end of that. Sure. The tighter situation. There might have been a few choice words between the two players. As it is, save your energy for tomorrow. Savage. Rachel. Well, uh, turn of pace to beat the man was brilliant. This time, though, the sand doesn't help him. Puts it into the goalkeeper's arms. Very sure now. Shouldn't miss these, but Kazanski in the way. He kicks given. So the quirk of the rules in beach soccer is he can't make the tee off your free kick. You can't do it. With your hands, you have to use your feet, and then you can use the ball in your hands to just shape it off. Chance punched away by the goalkeeper straight back to his opposite number, though. There's the other kick as a glove block. Boat catch in the end. Constantino thinks it was going out. In the end, it bounces in towards the goal, and goalkeeper can claim. Very short. It's a good touch, gets the free kick. And it's a penalty, it's inside the box. So with eight seconds left, it's going to round it off quite nicely. Some pressure on the other players in the tournament to score a few goals if Bryce will get a few. Always a good sign. Steps up. Well, no doubt about that. Straight down the middle. They say the keeper stands there. He should save it, but that one. Perfect. Foot through the ball. Scores again. Already is the man to beat in this tournament. Right down the middle there. Goalkeeper obviously knows how he takes his penalties and thought he was going to go one side or the other. And if he was. There's only one way he was going to get there, and that was to go early. Which, for the player, Brayshaw's intelligence means just put it down the middle. Easy. That's how you take a penalty. Thibaut Courtois of Chelsea. Take note. To the Mott. Good block by Brayshaw. Doing a defensive bit after his goal scoring bit. And that is it. End of the game. The Belarus flags it up in the stand opposite us here. Those fans are singing Belarus, and that man there. Well, the whole game played to his tune. 
clean sheet for Belarus, plenty of goals. In Portugal, something to think about. Final score. Belarus six, Poland now.